Hi YouTube, I just wanted to share some connections with you over the last few days with what's going on in the news with several things. This is from a video I made last year, this was about MH370. And I thought maybe this was an early warning because I thought that thing was going to definitely show up as a weapon and be used. And who knows about that, it could be because remember they said that that thing was supposedly taken out to Diego Garcia, which is where that beacon is pointing from that's just about where that little island is right out there and to me that looks like the Indian Ocean the land masses around it and, and all of it what have you it may not be a dead ringer to the map the real map but boy that looks close enough to me but now I wonder if it's an early warning for this supposed space junk that's going to fall and NBC News says it's going to fall Friday the 13th off the coast of Sri Lanka in the Indian Ocean. That's very interesting. And they say it's going to fall and burn and be a nice big fireball and give off a really nice show, supposedly. And I find this interesting because here it is, Revelation 8. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the earth. Um, a third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were bitter. And then what also do we have? We're being told that over Halloween there is going to be a flyby near miss asteroid or what have you, right? I'm just saying what the mainstream media is saying. I'm just telling you the official narrative. And that's interesting, and why? Because the space junk, let's say, is the third trumpet, or the third angel. Here's the second angel. As it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood. Sounds like an asteroid. Some people say it could be a volcano. Yeah, it might be. Sounds like an asteroid, though, to me, and it's very interesting that they're saying, Halloween, fly, near miss, fly by asteroid. And the first, that's the second angel. Now the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the earth, I'm sorry, excuse me, the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. That does sound like a comet or meteor shower. Now spaceweather.com is saying that there's a possible meteor shower uh, this weekend. I just, I just, should, uh, just showed and made a video a few days ago showing the Daily Mail, and yes, agreed, it's the Daily Mail, and all this stuff is propaganda nonsense. But there's some very interesting things all culminating right now. And the Daily Mail a few days ago said that Earth is in, um, is in grave danger of a catastrophic comet shower. I work at a grocery store. Last week, all of a sudden, all these, or I'm sorry, this week, all of a sudden you have all these uh, comet signs being hung around our store. We, we, I work in a grocery store. They're hanging comet signs. Because it's a new slogan of our business. It's just very interesting stuff. And what is it, the whole thing? First is terror. Is somebody said, like, one of those big things that came out on the internet and people passed it around where they said, like, first it was terrorists and then it was going to be asteroids and then it was going to be the UFOs. So you got funky things happening at the World Series with the technical difficulties. You had the father of the Royals pitcher die. You had the being the whole Royals anyway team involved. You had the blackouts written on the Hotels.com commercial. You have the blackout at the Super Bowl game. You have the Dark Knight Rises stadium attack propaganda, predictive programming maybe. It's definitely a bridge going down somewhere too. I mean, is it all going to happen in the next two weeks? I don't know, but this is some crazy stuff. <laughs> the WebBot even predicted this thing on the 13th. The web, and I'll put a link below to Jay Snip4's video. And it's a dead-on hit, man. I don't care what anybody says. And if you don't know what the WebBot is, it's a computer. It's disinformation that's right 1% of the time. And this just happens to be one of the 1% of the times that it's right. I have seen that thing with my own eyes. It... it in years, I, I've, I've seen it say something, and then a month or two later, it comes down, I mean, nails it. And sometimes, I mean, the exact word for word, it's spooky. But like I said, it's disinformation, 
but it's right 1% of the time. And this time it was right again. It's been, it hasn't been right for a long time. And it says specifically, let's go watch the video. I'll put it, uh, I'll just, it's the only, well, it'll be the only video. I'm not going to put this old video in there. It'll be the only YouTube video in the description. So, I don't know, man. You got 311 coming up. Remember, remember the 5th of November. We got 911. We got the 13th. And then just, and I'm not date setting. I hate because they're, well, you're date setting. And here we go again with, the, with this and that, with the September and October and all this kind of blah, blah. I'm just saying that, well, that's as good a time as any for these occultic bastards to do what they love to do. You know, you got this whole, just because nothing happened on those months and you don't live day to day, you don't live in fear, you have a, the best time you can is while you have it, and you just keep your head up. Look, I mean, all this stuff going on right now, pretty weird. You just kind of stay, just know what's going on, that's it. But you got the blood moons, man. Historically, those things are trouble. That thing haste said, hey, hey, you Satanists, hey, you lunatics that worship me, I'm turning red because I'm demanding blood, right? Four blood moons for the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Who even knows if that's right, but just weird stuff, man. So, early warning, I don't know. Guess we'll wait and see. Thank you to my subscribers for watching.